Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. We're gonna do a like epic train engine lash up, three powered units. We're gonna see if the, uh, one, if this transformer can handle it, and two, if it's feasible to do with the Lionel Line Chief setup. Um, so I gotta like try to balance each one of the three, all three train engines at one time to get them started. Once I get the train rolling, it'll be easy, but there'll be a huge amperage draw. So I'm gonna get down here and get the camera turned around. I've got a bunch of new power, a um, bunch of new engines. Um, really excited, this channel's growing. And um, so viewers like, like all you guys that watch these videos, <laughs> I'm telling you, I'm just so happy. Um, so. I've been selling on eBay. Um, I, I just sold the Conrail engine today. Um, I'm going after like these, uh-oh, I'm gonna short it out. Doing this one-handed. Um, so I sold the Conrail engine today. It was a uh, GP38, nothing wrong with it, but I really like these big GE tier four, what I call road diesels better, but that's just my preference. So I've got an idea how to start these things out. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna turn the camera around. So I've got everything blinking and on F. I'm having to use a universal remote because this engine that I just purchased does did not come with a uh, controller, but we got a good deal on it on eBay. Got some cars with it. We got a big long train, but I'm just curious to see if we can uh, get three engines to pull. So let's go in here and cut the power back so this on. This is the transformer I'm using. I really need to run heavier gauge wire to my stuff. Oh no, it had, it looked like it had too much torque. <gasps> All three engines are pulling, but we derailed some cars. So let's fix that right quick. We're just gonna shut them all off. They'll all come to a stop here in a minute. At least I hope. Uh-oh. Yep, yep, yep. So that's good, they all stopped. So we got the Kansas City Southern, the Area 51, and the GE. That just shows you how much torque was applied at one time. So let's go ahead and dial these bad boys back. And then we just gotta be ready to flip each one of them on at the same time. Let me get these cars re-railed. Dang it. Oh yeah. She's grunting. Let's give it a little bit more power. I really wish I could synchro these and tell each one to pull at the exact same time. Oh, we didn't have an engine going. But the GE was offline. There we go. Look here. Let's put them all on F. Gotta get it kind of the same. Sorry, my filming today sucks. All right, so a couple things about this railroad that are gonna change very soon. Like, as soon as we get a couple more things sold on eBay. So, if you guys know, what I've been doing is getting on Facebook Marketplace, buying like these sets of trains that people don't want. I've been keeping the car, selling the engines. And I always check them first and I normally make a video of the engines before I sell them. But what that's doing is I'm getting track out of it. I'm getting cars and I'm making a little bit of money, which is going back into the railroad. So um, let me zoom this camera out, gracious. So if you guys, some of y'all didn't already know, I'm really new to this stuff. And um, I, uh, I'm i kind of doing this all fresh. I'm new to it. Let's just say it like that. So I did not know that they made less steeper curves. So what I'm gonna do is put the 072 curves. I'm gonna replace all of the curves that's in this track right now. I did the math and it's gonna be several hundred dollars to do that. And I'm gonna to have to change the layout. So like this curve will be 
more of a sweeping curve. That one will be too. And then I plan on building the line out through here with the sweeping curves and bringing it back around. But I'm probably going to have to wait and do that whenever this channel is monetized. And it's, you know, because I can't, the wife will kill me if I spend any more money on this project. But she doesn't mind that I buy and sell for the eBay. But check this out. All three units. I want to give a big shout out to Lionel. Um, the Area 51 engine, for, for some reason, I don't know if it's just a different style of engine or what. But it's the smoothest running engine that I own. But that same engine burned up on me like two weeks ago. I sent it into Lionel under warranty. And they sent me a new one. So you wonder why I've got all this stuff. All this right here is added. All of this wood. Um, cause the line used to just go within the confines of this like patio. So I made it larger around here, but I want it to be bigger and I can't have these big steep curves. So that's why I haven't put no kind of permanent foundation under this railroad yet. I just essentially put some two by fours and some bricks just to get my elevation right. And to kind of get an idea of what I want to do, because what I'll probably eventually do coming very soon is build me a retention wall out through here put a big sweeping curve run it into my building cut a door out right here where i can park trains in there and then build another little wall and send it back on that side of the line so it'd be a huge layout and that's going to happen like within the next couple of weeks but um one i just need to get some stuff sold do some more buying and selling on ebay I'm going to have to burn all that trash. I apologize for that. We've been cleaning up in the house. Get some cardboard. But yeah, that is the plan. I mean, it's already huge. Look at that. That right there from that point to that point is 20 foot. I measured it out. We got 20 foot of track right there. And that train follows that entire line. I'd love to know how many amps that three engines are pulling right now. I'd imagine it's a ton. But, um... I feel like it's more easy on the engines to run them in three like that opposed to, um, you know, just one pulling the humongous train. That is so cool. So I know this is a really long video and it's rambling, but I'm just letting you guys know some of the stuff that I've learned so far. So like these curves here, which is like the factory curves, I guess well, I say factory, but these are like what you get in a kit or you get like in your starter kits and all that stuff. Your more common curves. These particular locomotives hate them. And um, you can see as it comes through here, like one of the wheels will actually come off the ground or off the rail. I don't know if you guys can see it. So we definitely got to soften them curves up and forget going in reverse in them. If you reverse it, it it's immediate derailment. So we got to soften that up. But just look at how long it is so far. Um, another quick little update. This area here, I do have plants planted in there now. Um, I did put, put me some grass seed in here so it'll help keep the, uh, the dirt and stuff down whenever it rains. But like I've said before, this line has now been outside for close to two and a half months. A lot of rain. We've had no rust. I used the no ox. Um, you know, I'd love to be able to afford like that atlas track or something like that but this stuff right here seems to be working and it's affordable and like i said i just coat it with no ox so eventually i'm going to like branch off right here maybe make me a little garage there to park engines another garage here thinking about listing that car on ebay but yep so i'm gonna give you guys another little flyby That's going to do it for this little uh, outdoor garden train Lionel setup. Um, I'm really enjoying it, and it's it's working great for me. Um, like I said, I haven't had any problems. The, uh, the no-ox has done its thing with keeping the tracks. I mean, it's keeping them fine. So, yeah. we got three power units running right now. Pulling a, about a 20-car train. I'm happy. 
you guys have a good one. And uh, tomorrow my dream engine will be here. That's a secret. So if you watched to the end, be ready for tomorrow. We'll see you.